Hello everyone, my name is Solar and this is Solar 3D Studio channel. This video and tutorial is about a cantilever beam static analysis, which actually you can see the result at this stage. And so you could see the description of the simulation tutorial on the left, which has actually appeared at this moment. You I highly recommend you to pause the video, write down the note for yourself, and then just resume the video and start learning. So let's just start the simulation process and see what's coming next. Thank you. Okay, as always, we are going to start with creating the model database, which is a standard explicit model okay let's just create the geometry of our beam through the part module uh, it's a 3d you know let's just change the name to beam which is a 3d modeling space and the deformable type uh, the shape will be solid and the type will be extrusion I don't change the approximate size Okay, just put a zero here. And based on the problem, it's going to be 10. And this is going to be 20. Okay, not that bad. Okay, just a hundred in depth. Okay. We are done in our part module, so let's go to the property, create a material, which is steel. As always, you could add descriptions for your uh, feature investigation just to avoid uh, misunderstanding or um, having a proper connection with your previous simulations. Okay, let's just add the elastic properties which is going to be 200 e3 and the question ratio is 0.3 okay let's just, just create the section which is going to be section of steel always stay organized it, it is really beneficial when you're doing to when you're going to do complex simulations okay the material is steel let's just assign the material and rate okay. okay let's move to assembly i'm going to import this part as an independent instance type if you are up to know about the dependent type and independent type please just watch the uh, videos about this uh, mastering abacus which is going to be in my in the caption of this video okay you could find the link in the caption uh, in a simple way okay nothing to add here let's just move to the step module we are going to use static general solver and we are going to have everything in default type okay just move to the load module and first let's just do the mesh and then we talk about why we are doing the meshing uh, part uh, before applying the boundary condition okay let's just use the seeds i think three is good show okay just apply the mesh here is our mesh and just we need to create a set which is going to be load we are going to apply the load on this node in our boundary condition great so let's just move to the load module V 
we have a BC one which is in Castro and is going to be on this face. Okay. This is an encastra and we are going to apply a concentrated force to our set load which is going to be zero minus a hundred and zero. Okay. We also going to have an amplitude and again if you don't know why I'm using the quality space or in other simulations table or, or periodic you just need to know what is an amplitude so you again could use the link in the caption to know about the amplitude this is totally free and it's just another video in my channel so okay in this case, we are going to use equally spaced with 0, 0 and 1, 1. Great. Okay. Everything is cool. Everything seems fixed and enough. Just let's go to the job. Send you a beam static. Okay, okay, let's just run the simulation and wait for the result. Okay, here is the finished simulation of the centiliver beam. So let's just see the deformation here and here is the first moment of our simulation and this is the last moment of the simulation okay i hope you enjoy the simulation as always subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet and share your thoughts in the caption and for your personal questions you could use the comment section or you could use my LinkedIn account and just contact me for your problems again don't do not forget to subscribe to the channel ring the bells and see you soon thank you so much